Got a big day, Brando. Oh man, the weather is not playing along for us. It's okay. I mean, maybe it's more romantic to do it in the rain. So I'm proposing to Rebecca. I met Rebecca around three years ago or so. We met through social media and she used to watch my stream. And we started talking and, and became much closer friends after that. We eventually met in person in Cardiff uh, last July. The thing that's been so amazing about our relationship is when we first started talking, I was a not very healthy person. You know, I was 310 pounds. I wasn't in as happy of a place. I didn't really have any balance in my life. I had a lot of issues, but Rebecca was someone that was there for me and by my side, regardless of my success in my career or regardless of my physique. She was there for me because it was me. Um, and that was something that I thought was so amazing. And over the past almost two years that we spent together, it's been the best period of my life getting to travel the world and, and being there for each other through very difficult times. Like I went through the ultimate sweat. She moved away from her friends and her family for the first time. We've always been there for each other. So I know this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. And I want to make it official to her. So what better place than Paris in front of the Eiffel Tower? A trip she booked for me when she had a successful W coup. So she played a tournament series. She's a recreational poker player and she won like $800. And her first thought was, I'm gonna book this trip for Jamie because I know Jamie really wants to see Paris. He's never been. So I'm gonna take this money that's a lot to me personally and book a trip for us. So that meant a lot to me. And I just thought this would be the perfect time to do it. So we're calling David, uh, who is my cousin. He's worked at Foster's Jewelry, who is my family's jewelry store for a long time. So we're gonna get some advice from him and buy a diamond. But I need to figure out a diamond that would work. Rebecca's style is like not very flashy at all. Like she, very minimalist. She doesn't really wear any jewelry at all. Yeah. We can start off with more of a minimal style, so just a plain and then with a center stone on it. Yeah. It's usually the, the great start. So I wanted to get like a fake ring, essentially, that I could put on her finger and then explain to her after. I mean, there's four main characteristics of diamond, mm -hmm. uh, and they're, they all start with C, so you got your color, clarity, uh, your care and size, and then your cut. Okay. When I envision it, I envision like a round shape being something that will hold the test of time when we're, you know, 25 and when we're, we're 55. My family um, has run a jewelry business since before I was born. My grandpa's the one that started it, um, Foster's Jewelry, and my uncle got into it, and now two of my cousins uh, work there as well, so it's like a family business. Um, it's like, it's a pretty big source of pride, I think, in our family, so I'm really excited I get to use them. Now I gotta figure out just the final, the final perfect specs on this. Mm -hmm. We are buying the, the fake ring right now, the ring that we'll put on the finger. So I want to find one that's going to look like the actual one that we're going to get. Do you know what the size is on that? My family are jewelers back home in Canada, so we can't get it for like a month or something. They're going to okay. make it and stuff. All my family's had it from there. I mean, that one would quite like it. Yeah. We're in this together now. We've settled on it, yeah, we've got one. We've got it set. It's in the coat pocket and we're ready for a Tuesday night. We're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now. We're at the uh, Picasso Museum. Probably wouldn't be a first choice on a sunny day, although I love Picasso. It's just nice to warm up in between excursions in the snow and slush, so Picasso. It's weird, I, I spent like hours researching that painting right there. The pants don't fit the ladies together. What's that one called? Le Troll. Le Troll. <laughs>
Brendan, yeah, Trevendo Days. He gave us a full out. He did it all. Full out plan for Paris. Weather is better, yeah. We've been walking all day. It's like one o'clock or so. Uh, so we're gonna grab a bite to eat, just chill out for a bit. I would say my thoughts are like, more like anxious. Oh yeah? I still, I still wish I could like fast forward. I'm not worried about the proposal at all, but uh, yeah, we have like another probably six or seven hours. I'll be your light, I'll keep you from darkness. Even when the sun don't shine, even when the sun don't shine, give me your strength. 